Keeping your filament dry is crucial for high quality 3D printing and today we are unboxing and testing the Quality Space P filament dryer. We will compare the results of a print before and after drying the filament to see how much of difference it makes. Let's get started. First, let's check out the packaging. You can see the front view in here, the side view and some specs here. As it says, it is just stable temperature from 45 degrees to 75 degrees, full time humidity monitoring, drying time setting from 0 to 48 hours, 1K set for 12 filament types and 360 PTC hot air heating. It also has some specs here about the power, the model number and the voltage and that's all. Now we're going to check what's inside the box. As you can see it's well packed. Plastic and foam to protect the model. And the shipping. We have the cable. The, the foam, the PPS tube, and the type P file wire unit. As you can see, it's very compact and it has a very functional design. The lid is very easy to open. The plastic. It has a connection here. And the button to open and off. This is a spool holder. I think most of the dryers have one. This is a very lightweight. You can put the spool directly here. And it moves briefly without much friction, and that let you print using the dryer. Okay, using this hole here, connect a PETF tube, or you can seal it. Put the cable and switch up. Okay, let's press the button in the screen. Here we can see the real time temperature, the humidity, the target temperature, the material and the time. The interface you have four buttons, the switch on and switch off, these arrows to go down and up and the settings and these to change between material and time. Okay, here in the material you can choose ABS. ASA, PG, PC, PA, PET, PLACF, Carbon Fiber, PG Carbon Fiber, PA Carbon Fiber, and PLA. You're going to choose for our test the PG. Now, the time you can choose between 1 hour and 48 hours, then with the arrow you go down and you go up with the time you want. This is uh, as I before, it's PG for my CID. PG here. So let's try how it goes. It says for PG 60 degrees. Check the time for two hours and see how it's going. Now it starts. You can see it's a bit noisy. You can see that in less than a minute it reduces the humidity. To put this filament dryer to test, I printed that 
Quality Camera Support. As you can see if you close up, it has a lot of string in here. Because the spool was outside the box for a few days. And we'll check it after the filament is dried and printed again with the same second and the same printer. Okay, just yes, six hours. We dry it a lot until 15 humidity and we'll try again to print the same piece with the same settings. So whilst I'm adding the spool, I will search for the print I made the last day. This one and with the same settings. 70 degrees on the bolt plate, 250. I will last 23 minutes. Let's try to print it with my quality K1 and see how it ends. Okay, after drying the filament, I printed the same model again. Here's the difference. This is the model before drying, it has a lot of stringing, some 11 layers, you can see it a lot here. And this is the same model with the same settings and the same printer after the drying. Most of the stringing is gone, it has a little bit here still, but maybe it's from the print settings or maybe need to dry a bit more but it has a huge difference all the stringing that I have here has gone and the layers looks cleaner so setting up the filament dry is very simple you only need to open the lid put the spool inside close the lid then you need to select your material and the time One hour, two hours, three hours if you want to see the temperature in Fahrenheit you only need to go on the first one and modify with the arrows you see now the temperature in Fahrenheit the target one and the actual one and if you want to change manually the temperature you need to go to that part and change it for whatever you want if you want to turn off you only need to go down until it arrives to zero and this one to switch off as you see in the video filament dryer can improve your print quality. The Kidality Space Pink Polymer Dryer is my first dryer and I think it works very well. If you are interested in this filament dryer, check the links in the description. Let me know in the comments if you have tried it or if you have other tips for keeping the filament dry. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more 3D printing reviews, designs, tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching and happy printing!